Hey you guys, welcome to my bi-weekly love reading. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising uh, for the weeks of January the 17th through the 31st, 2018. Um, so I have already shuffled and cut the cards. Let's go ahead and begin here. I want to thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. I ask that you all please continue to do so. Um, remember these are general readings, so they may or may not resonate but hopefully they do give you some clarity. Um, those of you that do that again. Oh no, the cards are just so huge. <laughs> All right, and then those of you that would like to book a personal or private reading, you can email tamajtarot at gmail.com and that information is in the description box below. Uh, you can schedule a video or phone, I'm sorry, video or email reading. The phone readings can't be pre-scheduled. Um, I know it probably gives that option when you call, but I, I only do the readings whenever I'm, I post that notification that I'm available. Um, all right, so central issue, heart of the matter, we have the star, will of fortune, Queen of Wands, Six of Coins, Ace of Coins, Eight of Wands, Justice, and the Eight of Coins. Um, okay, well we do have a lot of coin energy coming out. Uh, a lot of you could be focused more on your money than romance. Um, maybe there are changes going on in regards to your career. Um, there could also be an increase in pay or maybe you're, uh, you are receiving what you've asked for. Like maybe you asked for a pay increase or maybe you asked for a certain position. Uh, maybe you apply for a job. I feel like whatever that was that you wanted, that you're receiving. Uh, you are being gifted with something that you asked for. Um, now, if this is not talking about finances or money, because this is a love reading, um, but the, this is showing then that whatever you've been praying for or trying to manifest is now coming into fruition here. Um, so I feel like the star is answering your prayers and something that started off here in the ethers is now in the physical world here that we are in something that is that you can see touch and smell so uh, I feel that too someone may be at a distance from you um, maybe you've been wanting or waiting to hear from someone I also see this sometimes as uh, someone making an a, a apology or offering some sort of explanation someone is trying to make things right with you uh, I see someone is wanting to be completely open, honest, and transparent as well. Uh, I'm not really picking up any type of energy of someone who is lying or being dishonest. I feel like overall someone wants to put, put it out there. Uh, make sure that you are listening to what someone is saying to you because I feel like what they say is what they mean. Um, they're not sugarcoating. They're not, you know, trying to give you the runaround. They're... Um, if so, whether or not someone says they're not interested, believe them, you know, they're not, they're telling the truth, uh, or if they are interested, uh, maybe there's some, been some problems in a relationship or trust issues. Um, whatever somebody is expressing or sharing with you is the honest to God truth. I feel, um, now also I see, I see a very strong spiritual and telepathic connection with you and another person. Um, you are feeling magnetically drawn to this person. I also feel like someone feels like they have some sort of spiritual gift and they like to share it with other people. Uh, someone considers themselves to be a light worker, a star seed. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard of Messiah seeds. That is something I would like to find more information on. There's this guy named 13 Signs Astrology. Oh my God, he dropped so much knowledge. I'm gonna have to start sharing some of his videos. Uh, I've been following him for a while, but he has so many videos. It's like, I've not even been through half of them. But yeah, there's something called Messiah Seeds that you guys might wanna look into. Um, and also, 
uh, there is something else I was getting ready to say. Either way, it's, it's all things spiritual. Like some of you feel like you have some sort of spiritual gift and you do. And now is, is time for you to open up or share that with people, especially if this is something that you have been planning on doing. Uh, I feel like you're being aligned now um, to do this. Uh, also, as far as a spiritual partner or spiritual connection, I feel like you're being aligned with someone here that you're going to have that type of connection with. You guys are going to like having conversations about uh, unusual things. Um, people might look at you guys as oddballs or you guys might stick out like sore thumbs or people call you weirdos. But you guys embrace your individual individuality individuality, and you also embrace your quirkiness. Um, you guys aren't afraid to be who you are. You guys are just being real. Um, and I feel like that is what is very attractive. You you love this person because of um, of their eccentricness. Um, so I feel like this is a very good match for you. You're being aligned with someone. And I also see this too. We have both Justice and Six of Coins coming up. So this is talking about some sort of contract to me. Um, I feel like there is a spiritual agreement or a spiritual uh, contract with you and this person. And I feel like the universe is making arrangements so that they can, you guys can be um, put into each other's lives. Um, especially to if, I mean, to me, it's almost like the lover's energy, basically. I feel like this is like divinely guided. Um, you, you may meet this person during Aquarius season. Um, I'm seeing someone with a very strong uh, sexuality. They're very mysterious. Um this is random, but you guys, I have to say it. I'm seeing someone who is um, a squirter. Um, <laughs> someone has that gift or ability here. Um, and, or if you feel like you've wanted to do that, you've never been able to do that. This person that you're connecting with, some reason you do that with them. Um, or they, if it's not that, somehow they, they tapped into um, a very deep sexual side of you and you're, you're able to express yourselves in ways that you've never been able to do that. Um, now also here, what I'm getting is someone who is opening up their creative side someone is being very spiritually creative or because of this person has come into your life you're now able to express yourself creatively um, maybe you're creating uh, beautiful music for people uh, or beautiful artwork or painting um, even dancing anything that deals with the creative arts um, I feel that you know this person is in inspiring you or helping you uh, develop that more. Um, some of you also may want to be business partners with this person that comes into your life. You could be dealing with um, a fire sign, Libra, or an Aquarius. I feel like there's going to be um, two, like things could also take off kind of quickly for you. I see something coming in like really quickly, um, either a relationship or a conversation. You're going to have to make some sort of decision, your um, executive decision on something. Uh, go with your gut instinct. Don't overthink something. I see you making some sort of instant decision um, and it's going to lead to some sort of abundance here. Now, I'm also seeing someone who is like a jewelry maker, someone who makes jewelry in their spare time, uh, or someone who is making money off of their hobby, or something that they're very passionate about, uh, whether it's you or your love interests. But I feel too like um, you could earn money from that. So I am seeing like a lot of things in regards to money and income coming in for you. And I also see overall like dreams and manifestations.
coming into fruition here. I'm seeing some sort of unfinished business between you and another person. Um, those of you that have been waiting to hear from someone, like maybe that things ended or a relationship ended or something, um, I feel like you're going to hear from this person or you could be the one making that phone call. Someone is depressed. I don't know what this is. I feel like the energy shifted for whatever reason. Somebody's depressed and I don't know why. Uh, someone feels like maybe you're the one that got away or they miss you or you are feeling this way. Uh, feeling like things in, in fairly, maybe something ended abruptly. Uh, maybe someone is regretting not running or chasing after you after you almost feel like something happens and then it's like it's that feeling of it's ah oh, it's too late um now i realize that that's who i should have been with or now i realize this now i re realize that and i feel like someone is beating themselves up um i feel like somebody is just like literally like hitting their head like stupid 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 how could you be so stupid um so i don't know what happened if, if this is your energy or someone else's um God, what is this? It could be too something in regards to a, a message that was sent or not responding to a message or turning down an offer. Um, I don't know why this changed suddenly. I'm not really picking up on the why, but I do see a shift in energy for some of you uh, within the next couple of weeks. The, I mean, I feel like the energy... It's still positive, but this somehow ties into what is happening here. Uh, also, I am getting that air sign energy. So Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, let me let me just kind of see what this is saying. OK, so somebody who is in a relationship, I feel like there is boredom. Uh, there is a lack of fulfillment. Um, maybe someone feels left out or like you don't listen to them or you don't get them. And someone has now been contemplating walking away. Um, someone has really been looking at themselves and they're like, I don't like who I am when I'm with you. Um, you know, I'm sorry to like say that, but I kind of feel like somebody is feeling unhappy and wishing that they could rewind time um, or wishing thinking about someone from the past or there is some sort of comparison being made with who you're with now and who you used to be with um it could be a breakup for some of you what is this It could be that some of you are healing from a breakup. Maybe you guys were feeling strong the first time it happened and you felt like, "Ooh, this is a blessing. Like, I'm glad to be away from you or, you know, this was a blessing in disguise type energy. Um, and you're just running off of that momentum. You feel you you feel refreshed. This is spiritual. This is just what I needed. Time alone. Now I can see clear or have time to you know think about what I want in the future. And then something shifts. Like um, maybe like after uh, this eclipse, you're going to start feeling kind of worn out or tired or sad. Like I feel like some feelings are catching up with you. Like. Maybe you have been in denial about something, um, especially here. It looks like you were in denial about some sort of changes that were happening. And now it's catching up with you um, with the judgment card. Now you're realizing that, you know, you do have feelings of abandonment or you do have feelings of sadness. Um, someone let you down and you're realizing or you're having... I don't know, you're just having second guesses maybe about a decision that was made or whatever you were optimistic about. Maybe you put something out on the internet as well and 
maybe you weren't thinking or you felt like you were doing the right thing. But then after thinking about it, you're like, I don't know if I did the right thing. Um, especially too more so if you put something out on the Internet, like in hopes that someone would see this message um, and then they never responded or you didn't get the response that you wanted. So now you're regretting something that you shared publicly. Um, even if it was something like maybe one time you put, posted a picture of you and this new person or you and your relationship where you were happy and you wrote something like, you know, together forever or whatever. And then the next thing you know, you're broken up. And you're like, oh, why did I post all those pictures of us together? Why did I keep everybody updated on our relationship? Now we're not together anymore. This sucks. You know, so I'm feeling too like maybe somebody is regretting something that they shared publicly and is now feeling like they should have kept it to themselves. And going forward, uh, I'm not going to share so much information about my relationships publicly anymore. So that's kind of what I'm getting about that part. Uh, let me also just kind of see who is Jewish. Somebody to um, either something dealing with Judaism or um, Kabbalah. Kabbalism, is it? Kabbalism. I'm getting something about the Jewish faith showing up and I don't know what that is it could be something as as little as a tattoo now gang related in Chicago you know the six pointed stars um I don't know if you were once affiliated with that gang or if you were dealing with someone affiliated with that uh but the six pointed star may be of significance as well. Uh, judgment. So this still kind of ties into maybe some something that you could have seen or so you were researching something about your past like there's a need for you to understand something about your past. Uh, also, this could have something to do with uh, your uh, bloodline or something that you've inherited or something from your ancestors. Or it could just overall be some sort of history, something about your history that is being researched. Um, and you're having to deal with it. I feel like this is dealing with history or past and then wanting nothing to do with it. You know, it's it's almost like finding out that your parents, your grandparents were slave owners or something or your great grandparents were slave owners. And you're like, uh, I don't I don't believe I'm finding this out. Or you found out that um, your grandparents or your great grandparents uh, were part of the whole Holocaust, especially if you come from a, a German background or something, I don't know, and you feeling guilty about your something about your past that was out of your hands, like it's, it's your ancestors, but for whatever reason, you feel like responsibility towards that and you're doing things that you, it's like you're trying to uh, cleanse your karma, um, like you don't want that to be in a part of your karma anymore. So you're trying to do things to make up for it. Um, you just you just want to do the right thing. So I don't know if you're donating to charities or if you're sharing some sort of information to people and you're like, well, they didn't do it in the past. So it's, it's my responsibility to put this out and share this information with people. I don't know. I just feel like someone is taking on the responsibility of their ancestors or the past or something. Um. Now, also, I am picking up this going back to something in regards to a relationship. And maybe you're finding out or discovering that someone has moved on and you're like, I haven't even moved on yet, you know, or maybe you were at first you were motivated and you were confident 
And two, you saw that your ex had already moved into another relationship and now you're just like discouraged and like, wow, I didn't know they were going to move on so quickly. Ooh. Yeah, so I mean, it's just a matter of you um, moving on and getting past that. So make sure you're not getting stuck in the past about something because it looks like you're dwelling too much about something that is out of your hands now like you there's nothing you can do about it and i also see like with justice and the wheel here this is definitely some sort of karma someone's past karmas maybe you're, you're studying astrology and you're learning about these yoga these yogas in your birth chart and you're just like oh you know like that's what this means oh that's why you know i'm being paid back this is my karma so somebody is feeling like um they're suffering from their past karmas in regards to misfortunes in relationships uh, or people around you. All right, so that is all that I have for you. Um, I hope that resonated. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Again, don't forget to leave your comments, like, share, and subscribe. Many blessings to you.